Hi guys, Miss Hessen here to talk to you today about plants. Today, we're taking a field trip right here in my neighborhood to see what we can find out about plant adaptations. Now, we've talked about animal adaptations, things that help them survive, but what do you think plants need? What structures can help them? You know, plants have different needs. They can't just get up and walk around. They don't have to get food, so they don't need a beak or mouth parts. Let's take a look at some plants around the neighborhood to see what we can find out. Check out this here bald cypress over by the lake. Bald cypress trees like to live by lakes and they love to get near water. But you'll notice something really interesting. Down here on the floor, what we call its knees are actually part of the root system. Do you see those roots under the water? Bald cypress trees sure do love to get wet. Since they live so close to water, they actually need to aerate or keep dry their roots so they don't get too waterlogged. That's a pretty cool adaptation. Plants have lots of needs. They need light, air, space, and water. So what about if you're in a shady area? How do plants compete for light? For that, you need to find a way to get to light. This here honeysuckle plant is a vine. It climbs over other plants to grow towards the sunlight. Remember, plants need sunlight to make their own food. Cactuses have some pretty amazing adaptations. Since they live in arid areas or places that are dry, they need to be able to store their water. Cactus roots go far and wide so they can collect water as much as they can in the few times that it rains. But also, take a look at this waxy coating. Think about when you put on something like chapstick on your lips. It protects your lips from drying out. Well, cacti all have that same waxy coating to protect them from drying out. When they do get water, all of these paddles here will fill up. They also have adaptations for keeping them protected. Now these spines are not so hard, but prickly pear cactuses and some other cactuses have sharp spines. Those keep predators from coming in to get the water. Some plants are adapted for reproduction. The way this dandelion has seeds with little hairs on it allows the wind to carry each seed far out and land in a place where new dandelions can grow. Have you ever tried this at home? Take a look all around me. Plants need space to survive. Take a look up above and you'll see all of these plants are competing for the same space. So you see, the world of plant adaptations is amazing. See you next time.